In this lesson, we're going to talk about collective nouns, and you're going to learn how to correctly conjugate collective nouns so you have perfect English grammar. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com, and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about collective nouns, and specifically, we'll talk about verb conjugation with collective nouns. So, I'll give you an example. My family, mm, arriving tomorrow, do I need is or are? Hmm, because in a family, there's more than one person, right? So is a family singular or plural? What do you guys think? Put it in the comments. My family is, my family are. What do you think? Put it in the comments. Family is, family are. The correct answer is, my family is. My family is arriving tomorrow. Now, family is a collective noun. What that means is within this noun, there is more than one. Of course, like I said, a family, there's more than one person, right? But we treat that noun as one entity. Now, you can think of it as we're not talking about the individual members within that family, we're talking about the family as a whole. So we're imagining that that family is one unit. So that's what you can remember with collective nouns. They're conjugated as singular because we refer to them as one unit. So of course you need to know subject verb agreement for the verb to be, and you also need this for the present simple. For example, my family arrives tomorrow, not my family arrived tomorrow. No, my family arrives tomorrow. Because remember, we need to add that S or ES to third person singular, he, she, it verbs. So let's think of some other collective nouns that are conjugated as third person singular. For example, company, same thing. Company, many different people within that company, but we refer to it as one entity. It's third person singular. The company is profitable. Team is another one. Of course, there's more than one person on a team, but we conjugate it as one group, one whole. So team, group is a good one, community, class is another good one as well. Those are all conjugated as third person singular. Now, how about this one? Everyone, hmm, is this conjugated as third person singular or plural? Would it be everyone eats, third person singular conjugation, or everyone eat? Everyone eats at noon, everyone eat at noon. Hmm, what do you guys think? Is everyone third person singular or plural? Let me know in the comments what you think. Everyone eats, everyone eats at noon. So everyone is third person singular. It's a collective noun. There's more than one person, but we're referring to it as one entity, one unit. So this applies for everyone, everybody, anyone, and anybody. Now, some other common collective nouns that you'll probably use in your vocabulary would be government, audience, jury, tribe, couple, so two people, but we refer to them as one. The couple is really cute. Couple is a collective noun, and army as well. The army is well prepared. 
So here's the list of the most common collecting nouns. I definitely recommend that you pause the video and you write these down or take a screenshot so you can add these to your vocabulary. And remember, they need to be conjugated as third person singular. This is a really important grammar concept, so make sure you take the time. And for now, to practice, I want you to choose three of these collective nouns and write three sentences in the comments below just to get really comfortable with them. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4isenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, awesome job. Look at you improving your English grammar, sounding really advanced. I love it, and I can't wait to read your examples in the comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.